Grade here. Welcome back to our Crusader Kings 2 playthrough. So, I thought of one move in between videos that I could do. He has a brother. Uh, just to let you know, here's his entire court. Oh, I have one packed. Uh, oh, eh, with my wife. Okay. So, his brother, his half-brother, is not married. And since this is about the dynasty, any of his children would also be a part of the dynasty, so that would spread the reach of what's going on. So, since he is not married, normally uh, when you start off with Crusader Kings, you have to get your your uh, your ruler married off, then you have to have an heir, then you worry about getting the heir married off. In this case, however, I'm going to start off worrying about marrying off my brother. So, let's, uh, click. if you click on Arrange Marriage, you get uh, a selection of possible matches. Is he assigned to my court at all? If anything, he would be my steward. What's my current steward? My current steward's an 18. That's going to be tough to beat, so. Yeah, my brother's not going to be appointed to the court anytime soon. So, let's take a look. You, you get a selection of, of, of people, but what you can do is come down here to find characters. And we want uh, my religion group, my culture group, not married. Wow. Really? There's no one around? Uh, let's go any religion, any culture. So, oh, uh, search realm, that's why. So, I'm not worried about... Let's see, my religion, my culture group, married, no, uh... Diplo range, yes, because I need to be able to. Uh, nobody in prison, because I'm not going to be able to do anything. Adult, yes. So here you see we've got a, a wider range of, of people to pick from. And he is not going to be ruler at any time. Indulgent wastrel, <laughs> nice. So, let's see what... Ooh. Jayadeva. Okay, let's see. Arrange marriage between her and my brother. Now, what's going to happen is, since she is just a courtier, she's going to have negative 100... Uh, what is this? Uh, marrying negative 100 prestige. That's what it is. For marrying a, just a, a mere courtier. However, there's a way to mitigate this. Remember how I said that the minor titles, you don't want to uh, assign them out unless you need someone to really like you? Or, and here's the fun part, if you look at these, uh, monthly prestige, 0 0.4 per month. He also gets a salary, his opinion goes up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause for that marriage to go through. Yay, finally unpaused under Crusader, uh, Crusader Kings. Let's go up to speed two. It takes a while for the marriages to go through. Okay, to speed three. Normally I play, there it is. And it automatically pauses. Uh, <laughs> actually, okay. Blessings upon your house. I accept your suggestion that Paravala and... I really... Jayadeva get married. So, they are going to get married. Let's pause again. Crusader Kings 2, it's real-time, but it's pausable, so it's kind of turn-based, because almost every major pop-up is going to pause the game for you. So let's take a look at my brother again. He now has a wife. I cannot control anything else about him, but what I can do now is I can come over here. Let's go back and look at him again. So now his prestige is negative 100. And he, but he gets 0 0.62 per month. He gets this because of, I guess, his his religion. Yep, or his his uh, caste. 
There it is. His cast gives him a bit of prestige. His diplomacy skill helps him out just a tiny bit. And then he's also a commander in my army, which gives him 0.5 per month. But not only is he the commander in my army, he is now going to be... Uh, well, uh, I don't think he's going to be the, uh, the court poet. But I'm going to make him the master of, uh, master of the hunt. So now he gets another 0.4 per month. Now if I look at him again... Now, his monthly prestige goes up by 1.02 per month. So, in 100 months, uh, a bit less than, what, 10, 9, 10 years, this prestige hit will go away. It's one way that you can you can kind of manipulate things a bit, you know. Yes, I'm having you just marry a, a courtier, but here, you're the master of the hunt, you know. That, that helps a little bit, right? Right? So, let's get going. So, the message tells you of a mercenary band that just arrived in uh, Vidisa. Along with them is a field surgeon. Ah, this is for my uh, court phys physician. Rajapawa, known for his ability to rapidly amputate limbs and save lives of gravely wounded soldiers. Despite the reputation of mercenaries often being greedy, hiring him seems comparatively cheap. Uh, let's see. Pays 12 gold. Um, his opinion goes up by ten uh, by ten for me for five years. Let's see. Uh, court physician goes off of learning, so learning of eighteen is actually halfway decent. Let's see. Renowned physician, good. Scarred, brawny, gregarious, just, and one-eyed. Yeah, let's take him. So now if I go back and look at my court, I now have a court physician. And what's going on? It looks like there's a war of some sort breaking out that I'm not a part of, which is fine. Because I want to stay at peace. Okay. Who, who has he improved relations with? Let's see. Who is this? Harpal. Um, any. I wonder if there's. Oh. Ha! Ah, there, that's better. Ah. One of my. Yeah, one of my vassals. Okay. Basically, the count that leads this. Is it here? No. Ah, there it is. This, what is this? Vendir? This area, which is fine. Basically a vassal of my vassal. So he likes me a bit more. We look at the opinion. Uh, improved relations, plus 20. So, looks like there is a war going on between these two nations, which is fine. Go fight amongst yourselves. More relations improving. Family focus, real prosper. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, I forgot to set his focus. Oh. When it comes to the children, what I normally do for the focus is the first child is always one of the reds uh, because I want them to become a military leader because, unfortunately, a lot of how you gain land is military focus, so you want a strong military leader. The second one, I go into the green, which gives me a steward, and then a third son, if a third son comes up, goes into the into the clergy, into the faith, or uh, the, the, 
the church. I, I say clergy just in a general term because obviously this religion is operating differently, I guess. Any girls get etiquette, almost always get etiquette. Uh, maybe humility, usually these two. Uh, the reason for that is these two lead into intrigue, and usually you're the, the women cannot hold any council spots unless it's your wife, and she can be, I think I can show this. So here's my spy master. If I click on spy master, uh, no, my wife is not in the list. No, nope, there she is, right there. One of the few times that you can actually have a woman on your council, at least early in the game, is if uh, she's married to you and you put her as your spy master. So I generally always make them sneaky sneaky. So for, for my first son, I'm going to go with Struggle. Rowdy is Marshall plus one, Willful is Intrigue, what's Pride? Marshall and Intrigue. Nah. We'll go with Struggle. There we go. And that's part of the part of how you, you shape what your next heir is going to be like, is through their education focus. Um, and later on, you'll note that I'm his educator, so I will take a direct hand in uh, controlling his his development. Let's see. Monthly prestige. He gains a little bit of prestige. And... Eh, not much going on there. So what am I going to do about this being Jane? Prostatize. Let's see if I can get this converted over. Are these Janes? Yeah. <laughs> I took a good look at myself and thought about my weaknesses and strengths. After many hours of soul searching, I realized... Dot, dot, dot. This is the, the role-playing aspect. You get these decisions that let you decide how your, your leader develops as you go through. So, I have nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, I gain proud, which uh, gives me more prestige every month. Or, I have many strengths, but more weaknesses of getting humble. Humble gives me more karma and little opinions. Um, eh, I've got nothing to be ashamed of. And I've got the proud, uh, proud trait. A group of wandering Buddhist monks have come to visit the province. They're staging impressive shows of acrobatic unarmed fighting techniques in the villages. 30% chance to gain one marshal. So, what this means is marshal right here. Uh, no, this marshal is six. So... Uh, let's look at him again. His marshal is still six. He did not get extra. Let's see. Let's see the realm prosper and proud, so he gets more monthly prestige. So his prestige now is 1.2. Now, notice this. My brother, because I gave him all of those titles, his monthly prestige goes up by 1.02 a month. I'm barely getting more prestige than he is. Even though I'm the, the head of these two counties, uh, you notice held, uh, held counties times 2, point 0.2. Vassal baronies times 4, point 0.1. Uh, technology gets a little bit of increased diplomacy, proud. So, in fact, until I got uh, proud, I was getting less prestige than my brother. Interesting. Yeah, there's definitely a war going on here. Which I will stay out of because I want to see my realm prosper. Let's go to speed four. The Haiti is pregnant. Excellent. She'll have more babies. Okay, I need to pause. What happened here? 
Uh, Papali Pala is no longer in the book. Basically, my my uh, chief holy man just died, so I need to appoint another one. I could make it my court physician. However, you'll notice here that this guy, uh, Jagan Pala, is uh, a powerful vassal. And what that means, notice he had a negative 42 opinion of me. Now he has a, a plus 5. So, oops. Pause, please. So what that means is, before, if there were any plots against me, he would help them go through. Even though he wasn't the best man for the job, he felt because he is... Uh, who is this guy? He... Where are you? Ah. There he is. He controls this, this area here. And since he does, and he's a vassal of mine, he, he feels that he deserves a seat on the council. So I gave it to him to appease him. The world is a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your son. This is worrying. Let's take a look. Oh, special character actions. I can put him into hiding, which I'm not going to do. Because I want to look at intrigue. I, I know someone's plotting against him. I don't know who. Okay, what's it take to form this? Oh, this takes a lot of stuff to form. Got it. Okay. Hold the tiger hunt search for Smith. I don't want to take any of those decisions. Ah, I forgot to look at the societies and see. Okay. Monks of Hindu Mathis aim to be integrated and supporting force in society. Monks can seek to achieve spiritual enlightenment through meditation and scriptural studies or through charity and participating in the local economy. The Mathis are honored and often patronized by the rulers of India. Ah, uh, Kali! What's it take to become a part of Kali? Must be a sinner. Ha ha. Cult of Kali worship the demonic aspect of Kali and refuse the shackles of conventional belief as they see no fault in acts committed out of selfishness. Their spirituality is instead centered around personal gain and lustful endeavors, condemning them in the eyes of traditional believers. Well, for the time being, I'm going to join this one just because we'll let my son do that and have all the fun. So I've now joined this society. I'm now a monk. Oh, my fertility went down. Oops. Okay, maybe I should have done that later on. Well, live and learn. A little bit extra piety a month. Let's continue on. Uh, look at this war just raging over here. Ah, marital bliss. So we're in love. So for the next 20 years, our... Our opinion of each other increases by a whole 50. Duh. Yeah. Yeah, jeez. A son! I have another son! Bampala. Well, I'm going to have fun with this one. Nah, his name's Caldrus. There's someone out there that knows who that is. So let's pause and see what this is. The loss of succession. Let's see. Okay, so what's going to happen is... This title, notice how the, uh, 
the let's see, Bidisa goes to, to my son, whereas uh, Thakana goes to my other son. So these two are going to split if I die. Lovely. Well, like I said, it's it's all about the the dynasty. Now, if I can make a duchy, a, a duchy level, then I could uh, keep both of these titles in uh, in the same nation because I would be a duke, and then these are two county levels. They would swear fealty to me. So when I died, my first son would also become the duke, control, and retain control. That's why I said, if you're, uh, if I were in a, a larger nation, then I would go as a minimum of a duchy because it's easier to retain control of your lands when you're in a duchy. Ah, oh, special tithe, Benisa, so I gained twenty gold. This means I can now come here to let's see Castle Town. Castle Walls gives me. A little bit more t uh, tax income, fort level, and levy size. Levy size means I have a larger army. Fort level, uh, this meter shows how much gold can be raided. So, uh, 17 gold is basically fortified. It's, it's inside the castle, where the rest of the 38 gold is outside of the castle. No hospital. So, castle fortifications only increase the fort level. Castle Walls 1, however, uh, allows you to build training grounds and... Training grounds? Nope. Yeah, there it is. Nope, those... Uh, yeah. It allows me to get those as well. And since I'm probably not going to get to the Castle Town at 146 gold anytime soon, I'm going to take this opportunity to build my Castle Walls. So that's going to give me a bit more tax income, a bit more men, Protect a bit more of my gold in case of raiding. Basically, the realm is starting to prosper. As it should. My cousin. Aww. Oh, my brother's wife just died. There she is. She died of the flu. Hmm. Sad. And he has no heirs, so let's find him another wife. Let's go back to uh, not in prison, not married, diplo range, yes. My religion, my religion, my culture, no. My culture group, my religion group, there we go. Because you, you can really narrow it down, but if you if you broaden it out to the groups, then you you get more people that you can look at and you, it's, uh, you can convert them if needed. And there's a little less tension than if you just get a uh, complete heathen. So here's everyone that he can marry now. Much larger list. Do we have any geniuses? No. What about Brawny? No. Strong? Not string. Strong? Ah. He is 35. She's 16. But she is strong. And she's content and honest and patient. Hmm. I could take her as a concubine instead of giving her to my half brother. Then the, the strong would be here because that gives me martial and diplomacy. Ooh. Yeah, 
You know what? No. No, no, no. Let's uh, arrange marriage to my brother. My half-brother. It's another prestige hit, but he can afford it. Look at that. See, he's already down uh, 20 percent. Uh, he gained 20 prestige since his last marriage. Yeah. My, my thinking there, yes, I could get strong into uh, into my direct line, but giving it to the half-brother, that gets it in the dynasty, and it uh, means that I could have a good line of commanders. Yes, I'm thinking of breeding. Ugh, that's the other part of CK2. It's called a marriage simulator for a reason. So let's let that marriage go through, and hopefully he will make babies with this wife. But we will have to find out about that next time. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Have fun.